But before we get to the arcade, Maro decided it's time for another pit stop. We're going to walk through the food court here behind us. You can see that up there. Albert Center. Albert Center. Oh, you know all the names, don't you? It's written there with big letters. <laughs> okay. And then uh, after we've been through there, we're just going to show you a little bit of the food center. Do a little panning shots around to see what it's like. We won't go in detail about the foods and then we'll carry on down the Boogie Street Arcade or yeah. official passageway. Okay, lead the way, Maro. Just come up the stairs here. It looks like it's more than just a food court. It's also a shopping, food shopping place. Here's the first look at the area. There doesn't seem to be so many places open. You can see kind of the stores are closed. I would imagine it opens more in the evening time. Looks like it's a popular place to eat. came from down there. You know where the popular places are from the queues. This looks to be the Palau section of the market. Mara and I might just be having a little snack here. And most certainly enough tables here for everybody. As everybody knows, food is very important in Singapore. I don't think Mara and I could have time to stop for a snack yet. Got a lot of filming to do today. Hopefully we'll find somewhere else to have a meal later on. We're going to stop for a sugar cane juice, however. Freshly made, it's $2 for sugar cane juice. And there's the machine over there. It doesn't get fresher than this. smells here. The smell from here is wonderful. We have a shop selling sea cucumber. A lot of small fish here. I presume they're for the nasi lamak or nasi lamak. A couple fish there. 
all the goods are dried here. Here we have the dry cucumbers, sea cucumbers. Some lovely dried mushrooms. And here we have some more sea cucumbers. Looks like some seaweed. Mara was just asking. Some more dry goods at the Golden Horse Dried Seafood Trading. Very glad that we didn't give this a miss and came up to see what it was. Very interesting to see. With there to eat the dried scallop. Here's the dried scallops Maro tasted. Neither of us ever knew that they existed. At least the, a dried version of them. I'm going to zigzag through the stores and show you as much as we can. Dried goods and herbal products. Wonderful dried fruits here. Did you find out what that big leaf was? No. We didn't speak English, so. So many dried things here. Maro just photographing there while well, Facebook and Instagram. There's some lovely dried shrimp. So many funny dried plants and fruits and berries. It's amazing how many things you can actually dry in this way. As we're saying, there's so many things dried here at this market. So do yourself a favor and come up here and have a look. It's a yeah. sight in itself, at least for us Europeans who don't see these kind of things every day. Oh, no. So give yourself some time to come in and have a look at the dried market also. We just got to have a look down in the direction where we just came from. Just down there. You can see just how unique there's a preserved duck egg. Down this section, up towards the right, and there was some tailors. You see some fabric shops. Here we have the textile stores, Tongwa textiles, not many textiles, but a few shops. And then we come up to the foods again. Looks like candies, sweets ahead. Here we have Aoki, Ginseng, and Bird's Nest. Hello to you. Really a nice stand, this one. Just looking down towards the end where we came from. And just down here on the corner, we even have a sort of pharmaceutical drugstore kind of shop. So we sort of just come to the end here, there's not much more to see. That was very interesting market. And it was because I said go up, Mado didn't want to go up, yeah. so luckily we came. So don't forget to come upstairs and have a look at what's up here. But we're going to go downstairs now again and make our way down towards Boogies. Um, unless something else comes up that distracts us and then we'll continue filming there. But uh, see you downstairs.